solid module uh, we i will only discuss an example about the two state dividend discount model and the dividend discount model we use to find the price of the stock of the companies uh, 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 which are expecting to pay the dividends uh, on the uh, uh, like pay the dividends on its stocks so uh, there is a company abc company and we are expecting that this company will pay the 60 cents 90 cents 2 dollar and 40 cents and 3 dollar and 50 cents in a, during the next four year in the shape of dividends on its stock and beginning from the fifth year uh, we are assuming that the growth of the dividend will becomes uh, constant which is at 4% indefinitely and why we are doing it because uh, through this we will be able to uh, use the simplified formula uh, uh, to uh, to price the to find the price of the uh, abc company stock uh, if we will not be able to uh, uh, make this assumption then there are because the company is a coin concern and the there is no maturity value of the stock so there are uh, like indefinite uh, uh, um, dividends associated with the with the stocks and we'll keep discounting uh, th those dividends and uh, and then uh, try to find the present value of those future dividends and then add them together to eventually find the present value of the stocks uh, but uh, like uh, th th this is a never ending process so that that is why at one st at one point we assume that the company will enter into its uh, maturity phase uh, 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 like uh, in its life cycle and once it enters into the maturity phase, its dividend will grow at a constant rate indefinitely. And uh, with that assumption, the calculation to find the price of the stock of the companies, uh, uh, the companies which are paying dividends, uh, will become very easy. So I just quickly made the timeline over here. Uh, if you see that there are two stages, the first stage is the first four years, and uh, because the dividend are not growing. Uh, at a constant rate in that first year so this one is the first four year you can see that at the end of the first year it's 0 0.6 at the end of the second year it's uh, 0.9 at the end of the third year it's two dollars and 40 cents and at the end of the fourth year over here it's three dollars and 50 cents which the uh, which we are expecting that company uh, uh, will pay this is a separate topic that how we made this expectation uh, uh, right now we are just trying to understand that how we can apply the the concept of time value of money uh, and the dividend discount model uh, dividend discount model to find the price of the stock if we have these numbers in hand now from the fifth year this is the second stage because from the fifth year onwards the assumption of the constant growth dividend will apply so from here onward we have a simplified formula but before that we will be basically uh, try to find the present value of the the dividends to find the present value of the stock so we know that in order to find the present value of the stock we usually symbolizing as, as this pre present value at the end of the zeroth period and this is the ex this is the expected uh, uh, this hat is showing the expectation so what is the present value of the stock right now? This is the question, right? Now, first we have to discount this back. In other words, find its present value, discount this back, find its present value, discount this back, find its present value, and discount this back and find its present value, right? So over here right now, this present value. And how we can do it? Um, uh, we will be basically using the, uh, the the concept of present value from the time value of money, right? Now, here we will have a separate formula. We'll try from where the, when the, this is the second stage of the dividend discount model. Over here, we will first try to find the, the, the price of the stock, expected price of the stock at the end of the fourth period. Why? because we have a simplified formula for that. And what was that formula? The formula was P naught hat is equal to D1, very next dividend. And remember how we can get the D1? If we have the current dividend D naught, multiply by the growth, one plus growth, right? So 
divided by the required rate of return which is 20% given in the in the question minus the growth and growth is also given which is 40%. Now we can rewrite this as D0 into 1 plus growth right whole divided by Rs minus D. But because over here where the constant growth will apply it will apply from the fifth year so we can we can use a modified formula which is p4 expected is equal to d5 expected divided by rs minus g so this r d5 can be read right uh, we can rewrite the d5 as d4 hat expected price which is 3.5 over here right into 1 plus the growth rate 1 plus the growth rate whole divided by r s minus g and why we are doing it we are doing it because uh, just give me a second guys um, we were doing it because uh, we have us this simplified formula and from this fifth year we can be able to apply the formula this formula this one this one uh, the reason is that the d5 is the first dividend on which the constant growth assumption is getting applied and we will assume that what if we will buy the stock we will get these four expected dividends and at the end of the fourth year we will sell it if we will sell it for what price we will sell it we will get this p4 and in order to find the price today we can further discount it back and find the present value of p4 right so in other words after getting these four dividends I, if i'll sell this stock i'll get my p4 expected p4 and then i will further discount it back find its present value to find the overall current price expected price of the stock now let's start doing it and so we have d1 right we have d2 expected value of d1 so what is over uh, d1 we it's 60 cents right first over here we need to find also the d4 how, uh, d sorry 5 the, what is the dividend at the end of the fifth year so d5 is what expected value of the fifth dividend is equal to the previous dividend d4 3.5 right because d4 is my 3.5 into 1 plus the growth rate and what is 1 plus the growth rate 1 plus 4 percent 1 plus 0 0.04 right and this will turn out to be my dollar 3.64 so my the fifth dividend is 3.64 uh, right so if I will sell at the end of the fourth year after getting these four dividends 60 cents 90 cents two dollar forty cents three dollar fifty cents if at the after receiving this last dividend I'll sell my my uh, this stock I'll get p4 and but why we are, I'm trying to find the d5 next dividend because I need the next dividend to find the price of the stock one uh, period backward over here right so if i will put this things uh, sorry I, I, my writing is awful like actually it's not in real very much awful but this the system which i am using it's not that great so expected price at the end of the fourth period is equal to d5 which is 3.65 right so the, sorry six 3.64 4 which is this one right this one right divided by my what is rs my rs is uh, rs is 20 percent 20 percent minus the growth rate which is four percent if growth rate is four percent then if i'll invest in this stock after receiving the first four dividends and after the as soon as i receive the four expected dividend which is 
I'll sell this stock with this given assumption. I should receive twenty-two point seven five dollars. And why I'm talking about the price instead of the the dividend over here? Because the price at the end of the fourth uh, year depends on the dividend which the the investor will receive in the fifth at the end of the fifth year, sixth year, seventh year, and all those dividends which will come in the future. And we want to find the price and simply then uh, uh, discount them back over here at this point in order to simplify our overall calculation for the expected price of this stock today. So uh, because from the fifth period onwards, we have the assumption of constant growth of the dividend, which is 4%. <clears throat> we can apply this formula very easily. And uh, um, why we are finding at P4, but in order to find the P4, we need the very next dividend as per the formula. So this is the formula. So if you want to find the pr price right now, you need to have the expectation of the first dividend, which will come after a year. So this would be the price 22.75 um, uh, uh, as soon as you will receive the fourth dividend and sell the stock. This should be the uh, price of the of the stock at the end of the fourth period given that the 20 percent uh, uh, rate of return is required by the investor for investing in the stock and four percent is the the growth of the dividend and at the end of the fourth period the last dividend was 3.5 because based on this dividend we are able to find the very next dividend and based on the very next dividend we are able to find the price of the stock one period back over here Right, you can see that. Right, so this is the fifth dividend. So three point six four, which is the fifth dividend, divided by the rate of return point two, twenty percent in decimal is point two minus zero point zero four, and your you, the expected price at the end of the fourth period is twenty two point seven five. Now, if you see that in order to find the present value of the stock right now, we need to deal with five cash flows. The first dividend at the end of the first period, the second dividend at the end of the second period, third dividend, fourth period dividend, and the the fifth is the the price which we'll get at the end of the fourth year by selling the stock. And we are able to find the P4 because we made the assumption of constant growth of the dividend uh, for uh, indefinitely from the fifth period onward. If we will not be able to make this assumption over here, then we cannot find the P4, right? So that is the reason uh, the this is very important to have appropriately uh, estimate that when the uh, the a particular company will enter into a, uh, a maturity phase uh, during its life cycle, uh, uh, so, uh, so that we can make an assumption about the constant growth of it, the uh, of its dividend. Now, this is the way to find the price of the stock. Uh, as I earlier mentioned, uh, let me make the screen bigger. The price, expected price of the stock today is present value of the dividend D1, present value of dividend D2, present value of the expected dividend. Remember, these are all expectations. You are standing over here at this point, over here, and making the assumptions about future, right? Uh, about the ex ex the the dividend expected about the dividends expectation about the dividends of this stock um, uh, what that what would be the stock in the future then present value of the expected dividend d4 and the present value of the expected price which you will receive at the end of the fourth period so you can see that this is the formula 0. 0.6 divided by 1 plus 0. 0.2 raised to the power 1 because you have to discount first dividend one one period back second dividend two period back third dividend three period back that's why the second dividend which is 0 0.9 divided by one plus the required rate of return 20 percent raised to the power two because you have to discount them two period back third dividend is getting discounted by three period back and the fourth is discounted by four period back four period back one plus 0 0.4 raised to the power four moreover the last price which you receive at the end of the the fourth year, right, uh, is 22.75. You also have to discount it back because this is the price which you'll receive over here at the end of the fourth period. Uh, uh, let me 
select the my pen tool okay sorry this one over here at this point right this this point at the end of the fourth year but this is the price which you'll receive at the end of the fourth year what is the present worth of this price to the investor today and uh, in for that you again has to do the discount it also by four period one plus zero point uh, uh zero point two raised to the power four right uh sorry this this is this is what i'm i'm talking about right so the last dividend which is you are receiving at the end of the fourth period should be discounted for a period back and as soon as you receive that fourth dividend you also sold the stock and received another cash flow which is the price of the uh, of the stock expected price of the stock at that point fourth period so you also have to find its present wealth worth by dividing it with uh, one plus the required rate of return raised to the power four now if you do this calculation manually you will get all these terms and the final answer should be 15.17 in other words you the present worth expected price of the stock or present worth of the stock to you should be based on the two state dividend discount model should be 15.17 i hope you understood it uh, uh, clearly uh, you can also pause the video where you feel confusion you can uh, write it in the in the comment section as well uh, or if you have an email you can email me uh, the, there is another shortcut if you 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 correctly find what is the cash flows associated you can use the calculator and easily find these value uh, values without doing the manual calculation so you will need to go into <coughs> the cash flow second cash flow always clear the previous stuff if you see i have some previous stuff over here so second clear now what is the first cash flow over here right now right now at this point zero so keep it like this zero what is the first unique cash flow at the end of the first period 0.2 right so you will be typing 0.2 and it is only repeated one time so the frequency is one what is the second unique cash flow 0.6 uh, 0.9 sorry enter the third unique cash flows is 2.4 enter what is the fourth unique cash flow at the at the end of the fourth year you have actually two cash flows 3.5 coming from the dividend and from the selling of the stock 22.75 so you add them together so 3.5 plus 22.75 should be 26.25 right so 26.25 is your cash flows and how did i get it i added this 22.75 the 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 cash flow which i will receive at the end of the fourth period through selling of the stock plus the cash flow which i will receive uh, through the dividend at the end of the fourth period uh, fourth year 3.5 so if i'll add them i'll get 26.25 uh, and now i will go I'll always enter it right and, right it is always better to check your cash flows again because there, there are many mistakes happen because of the misfeeding so yes i think i have done right now i'll go into the net present value in order to find the present value today what is my required rate of return 20 percent given in the question over here right so this 20 percent i'll enter and compute the npv 15.1517 which is the same which i will get which i have already gotten over here through the manual calculation i hope under uh, you have understood this two stage dividend discount model uh, through this short example thank you